Well, here we go. It's time to start a brand new Premier League season. Hopefully, this is the year we get crowned Champions League winners. Hello, welcome to Club 4, part 45 of the Globe Explorers. In today's episode, we've got our first Premier League match of the season against Tottenham and our UEFA Super Cup against Paris Saint-Germain. So nothing has happened since the last episode because we're, quite frankly, carrying straight on from where we left off. Still got plenty of transfer budget to play with. 130 million, or 129 to be precise, and loads of range budget left in the kitty uh how much spare range budget 1.8 million so a lot of budgets to play around with um between now and the end of the transfer window i very much doubt i'm going to make any more signings i expect i will but i'm not sure what and who so let's get cracking in our first game of the season against Tottenham. so the lineup will be simon in goal a back for briggs martelli pasifumi and suarez What's his best uh, defensive wing back? Okay, we'll make do with that. Then we've got Manu and Naim in the midfield. Then we've got Carlo on the right. Palumbo in the middle. Duarte on the left. Then we've got James Edwards up front. Come on, lads. Let's get a big old win. Can we please beat Tottenham this year? For, just for once. Just beat them because I'm not going to lie. I think Tottenham are starting to become sort of a, a bogey team, I think. Maybe that's Man City. I'd say Man City and Tottenham are literally our, our two biggest rivals. There. I think they've got a record. Tottenham have just got a record in the seventh minute of the game. That makes this game... It could be easier, it could be harder, whichever way you look at it. We still have to beat them. Ten men or eleven men. So... Let's still get a, a decent result. Hopefully we, uh, we thrash them this time. Pass a few of me, Carlo. Go on, Edwards. It's through. Oh, my God. Oh, i tell you what. If Edwards can have another great season like he did last year, I don't see there's any reason why not why we can't win the quadruple this year. Maybe maybe even the quintuple, including this cup and the... Um, yeah, not this cup, this is the Premier League. It'd be fantastic if we can retain the Premier League title because we haven't done that yet in this in this save. Not for a while. But unless we were like uh, we haven't won like yeah, because past couple of seasons we've won one, then we've lost two in a row, then we've won one, then lost two in a row, then we've just won one. So we need to retain this Premier League title. That'd be absolutely fantastic if we could do that and win the Champions League this year. Absolutely fantastic. Like I said in the intro, or I might not have said it in the intro, if I don't win the Champions League this year, I will... I'm going to leave Man United and look for another job because we can't carry on like this. We have to win the Champions League as soon as possible, please. Come on, lads. 25 minutes left of the first half. Still goalless. Despite the fact Tottenham are down to 10 men, they haven't really... They haven't really done much. They've only had one shot, zero on target. I still, I'm still feeling quite confident we can get at least one goal this half. Though I don't think we are going to get one because we are running out of time. We've got five minutes left of the first half. Duarte whips in the free kick. Palumbo is there at the back post and it's a goal. Well, it might not be a goal because it might be offside. I doubt it's offside. It's a goal. It's been awarded. Ricardo Palumbo... Open his goal tally for this season. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely brilliant work, guys. Set pieces work wonders once again. Well done, lads. Keep going. But they are down. A, they are down a man for now. They might. They might be down to nine men by the end of this match. I reckon. Possibly. <laughs> Come on, lads. I'd say give it about five more minutes and we will make our first couple of substitutions, which will be now. I think Manu is going to make way for Ethan Goose. Um, hmm, who else? Let's go on Federico for Palumbo. James Edwards, she haven't I really had the best best game this year, so this, well, whatever. 
Uh, so last case is going to come on and I think I think we'll probably leave it at that for now. Probably get off Briggsy towards the end of the game. So we'll Carlo possibly, maybe Duarte, but we've only got two subs left. So we'll have to think wisely about this one. See which ones we want to play in the Super Cup against Paris Saint-Germain. Suarez, get the ball upfield. Duarte, go on. Go on, Suarez. Let's, let's have a good run from you. Suarez, that's not a bad ball. Suarez, Duarte. That's the chance to cross it. Oh my god, we've just hit the post. The Tottenham are so lucky they didn't score an own goal from that opportunity. Martelli, go on. Come on, Martelli, Goose. Nine, have a shot. Federico is there. It's offside. Lino raises his flag. It's definitely going to be called off, isn't it? Definitely offside, that. Yeah, goal has been disallowed. As if there was any chance of it being allowed. Right, come on lads, we've got 20 minutes left of the match. Still one up, there is still time. We potentially grab at least one more goal. I think one more goal should probably wrap the game up, I'd like to think. Oh, so close. Oh, I thought that was going to be the second goal there, but it's a very good save from Arnold Tiedas. Right, come on lads, can we... Can we close him down? Put some pressure on the defence. Well done, Geta. Come on. Even Goose. Oh, come on. Martelli. Carlo. Yes! Shane Carlo is there for the second goal of the day. I didn't see the line put his flag up, so the goal has been given. Well done, Shane Carlo. We are 2 no up. I think, I think we're going to get you off, Gene. Do we have a right winger on the bench? We don't. I'm not going to put Plato on the on there. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave Carlo on then, and I think we'll get on get off Briggsy for Plato, and I think for the final change will be Balance Raider coming on for Duarte. I think that's pretty much it now. Let's hope we don't get any um, serious injuries. We don't really need that with uh, at this stage of the season. End of the season, it's fine, but not at this stage, not now. Carlo, with a free kick, can he get his second goal of the day? He's going to line up. He's going to bang one. He hits the crossbar. Nine has the chance of a rebound, but he does go down in the box, but no penalty has been given Pequeno, former Manchester United player. Suarez has got the ball, plays the ball to Federico. Polito has the chance to cross it. Does he? No, he doesn't. He pulls it back to Goose. And it's a, it's a corner ball. Is there time for one more goal? Valenzuela is going to play it short, I think, to Carlo. Go on. Valenzuela again on the overlap or underlapping run. Come on. Oh, it's another corner. Can we do a, a short, a, a near post corner, far post corner? One of those would be fantastic, please. Baron Sweeter is going to whip it in. He does. That's like a not bad delivery. Martelli is there with the initial header and it does go out for a goal kick. Disappointed that because we had a, a fair good couple chances in that play. And it does end in a 2 0 victory over Tottenham. Absolutely. Fantastic. What a way to start the season with a win against, I want to call them the mighty Totten, but they're, they're not mighty anymore. They are, well, they're in a relegation battle. That's very nice. Uh, we only one game in. They're not in a relegation battle. They, they might be. I very much doubt it. Now, if we do happen to beat PSG in the next game, I genuinely believe we our chances of winning the Champions League are very good. The lineup for Super Cup against PSG will be Simon in goal, a back four of Polito, Martelli, Pasifumi and Suarez, Gusa and Marangon in the midfield. We've got Giesa on the right, Palumbo in the middle, Valenzuela on the left, and James Edwards up front. Who's he wants to buy into Milan? Still haven't received any offers for him. Which, which is funny, because he had an absolute brilliant season last season. Scored just under 50 goals in all competitions, so 
you like to think there will be some offers in deadline day i expect but i very much doubt it but you never know edwards palumbo can we get a quick start here we do 15 seconds into the match palumbo opens the goal scoring for this game absolutely brilliant i mean if we can thrash psg here i mean psg are the current champions league winners they won the champions league last season i don't look sure who they be i think it might be barcelona or real madrid one of them teams certainly they might have been they but they did beat man city because we beat them in the europa league final so i reckon if we can hold out for a victory against psg we can i reckon we could easily win the champions league this year that's just my thought process but I think we could definitely win the Champions League this year. If we could get a win in this game and a comfortable win, that'd be very good as well. Moran gone. Whips in. Oh, my God. Oh, it's 2-0. Mateo Polito gets the ball into the back of the net. And it might be offside, but I don't think he was. Come on. Yes, it's 2-0 before halftime as well. That is absolutely fantastic. I mean, PSG, they've done nothing at all it could have been three nil but that was offside where is mbappe i see they've got Ansu fatty and early and esc ben Sagur and evan ferguson under as their front three but no mbappe has he been sold to saudi arabia i think he has unless he's like a down on the bench yes sir oh my god oh it's a throw in are we going to get one final attack before halftime? We're going to get one final quarter. Come on, Marango whips in. Oh, Martelli was looking at the back post. He connects with it beautifully, but it is just wider for goal. What a first half we have had. Two no up. I was not expecting that, especially a goal in the 15th second from Palumbo. Absolutely a superb first half. Uh, hopefully we could have a... I'm much, uh, I, I doubt we're going to improve it in the second half because there's not much to improve. We're already winning 2 0. But if we could get at least one more goal in this half, that would be absolutely fantastic. If we could double our tally to four goals, even better. I doubt we're going to triple it. We might do because Ricardo Palumbo has got his second goal of the game. He's on for a hat trick. Can he get a hat trick against PSG? He is, he's living the dream this game. He's going to tear the Champions League apart this year, I hope. All right, come on, lads. Half an hour left. I think we are going to make some subs. How many subs can we make? Five substitutions in the Super Cup. Same as the league. That's fine. Right, who's lacking game time? I think Alfonso Davis comes off for Suarez. Um, hmm, who else? I want to get one of these um, players that haven't got much game time that didn't really feature in the last game. So I think we get on. Oh, uh, yeah, not yet. Valen Swain is going to come off for. Uh, you know what? Evan Yas can come on on the left hand side. He can be a, he can be a wing. I think he's left footed anyway, but that doesn't really matter at the moment. I think Ethan Goose does make way for. Kobe Manu. I think that pretty much be it for now. I think we will get off one of the central defenders uh, a bit later on in the match. Now that I know we, I don't think I don't think there's any way we can bottle it. But just to be on the safe side, I will leave the centre backs on for now until like ten minutes before the end of the match. I mean PSG. Well, I say there's a. There's a chance of bottling. They've only had two shots on a target. We're not bottling at all this game, I don't think. PSG haven't really... They haven't really turned up at all yet. Yes, sir. Yaus is in the box, but he doesn't quite get to the ball. Davis has a chance to cross it back in. Palumbo is there. Oh, my God, he gets the crossbar. We cover him forward up. Palumbo nearly got his hat trick. He's getting so close. We are going to make our final two substitutions. Martelli is going to come off for Van der Velden to make his debut. And I think for the other change will be Nick... Do we have a... Yeah, we do. Federico is going to come on for Palumbo. Shame he couldn't get his hat-trick, but he is, he is absolutely shattered. He's worked his socks off this game. Could not be proud of his performance at all. Come on. 
five minutes left of the game history. I don't think they're going to try and get a goal. They're not going to get a goal at all. We're going to keep a clean sheet against them. This is absolutely fantastic. We're not even like <laughs> like five games into the season. This is already our second trophy. It might not mean anything, but we just beat the Champions League winners. That is PSG. That is absolutely superb. Oh, it's a, it's a thing of beauty. You love to see our first Europe. I think, no, it's not our first UEFA trophy. Second, absolutely beautiful. No, we're not going to bother watching the, the trophy celebration because it's only the Super Cup. If it's the Champions League, I might have cared a bit more, but it's a good win. A good start to the season. Second trophy in like five games, so not too Bad. I'm not sure. I'm not sure when we find out who we've got in our Champions League link face, but I guarantee you it will be soon. Hopefully, it's an easy, an easy run of games. Which I think this season we will try and focus on the Champions League more than the league. Obviously, I will show you Premier League games as well. But in the meantime, I will see you all in the next episode where we shall begin. Our Champions League League phase. If you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more Daily Football Manager videos, and thank you very much for watching.